G'day, I'm Matt Davey. Today we're doing our second inspection on our foundation only hive with OSBN and we'll have a look at what the bees have done, what they've drawn out and uh, we'll show you where they're most likely to draw out foundation using this method. Let's have a look. So I can see the bees have mostly drawn out uh, two frames either side of their honey frames that we brought up from the bottom. Remember we, uh, we found that there was eight frames of brood down the bottom and we put a OSBN frame on this outside and a frame of foundation on the other side and brought the two honey frames up to the top. So we'll see what they've done with that now. So this OSBN frame here hasn't been touched. You can see they've put a little bit of wax on one side. I'll just get those bees off. And put this down here. It's now about two and a half weeks after we did our first inspection and moved up the frames. So I can see there is uh, two frames that have been drawn out on each side of these two honey frames. So there's a total of six frames that the bees are using in this top box. So we can see this outside frame here has pollen and nectar. So I'll move this frame over and leave a gap because when we find brood we'll add a OSBN frame in beside the outside edge of that brood nest. And you can see we have brood on this frame here. So our next frame is this honey frame. The brood nest has been moved up into it. So let's have a look now. We have what looks to be a queen cup. Let's have a look inside it. And that's dry. So we remove that. So that's a brood nest moved up into the honey. Let's place our OSBN frame in between the brood and the honey. Do the same on the other side. So again, working from our second frame in. You can see the bees are actually starting to draw this one out. So there's just nectar in that one, no eggs. Just shake the bees out. Let's pull this frame of foundation out as well. Now I want to check this third frame in and we'll see if there's any brood on this one. So this feels quite full. This one's been filled with nectar and pollen. So this is the outside edge of our brood nest from here in. Let's place that one there. This next frame 
here should have some brood on it. And I can see that it has. So that's the outside edge of the brood nest at the top of the box. And we'll have a look at our honey frame that was moved up from the bottom. It's a bit stuck this one. So use the frame grabber. We've got some drones on this one. And a bit of bear cane as well. So I'll just take that bear cane off. We also have some queen cups here. They've made some weird and wonderful comb down the bottom. Made some queen cups, but there's nothing in them. I'll just clean that up and remove those that bear cane. cleaned up the uh, frame now. I can see lots of eggs and larvae in there so we'll put this back in. At times you will find the bees do weird and wonderful things with comb, uh, especially when they're drawing out foundations. So just a good time to check and, and fix up any uh, comb that's going off track. Don't leave burr comb like that. Fix it now while you can. And this is a good opportunity to do that at this stage. We know this frame here has brood on it, so we'll move that across and we'll insert our frame of foundation in between that brood frame and the nectar and pollen frame. All right, so just insert our foundation frame in here. We may uh, go and get another frame of foundation uh, just to cover frames in the bottom box. There is only a little bit of nectar in this one that's been half dry out. So I'll go and get a frame of foundation so then we've got to, to put in the bottom box there. Well, I've got another frame of foundation. We'll go into the bottom box and see what they've done there. They've put drone comb between the frames. So we can see there's drone larvae there. I'll just clean that up. You can see our arrows beam frame here on the side and our other frame of foundation over on the other side. Let's have a look at what they've done. Okay, so they're only just starting to draw out this OSBN frame. There you can see they've drawn out one side of the OSBN frame and they've replaced the empty space with drone comb. Those bees that are hanging down are wax makers. Frames are foundational always been frames that are placed right on the outside edge are not likely to get drawn as well as frames that are placed further in. Just a frame second in from the edge will get drawn out a lot quicker and a lot better than an outside frame like this. I 
I'll just check a couple of frames in. Haven't seen any evidence of queen cells being made, but I'll just check a few frames anyway. So that's all larvae and capped brood. There's a decent amount of drone and quite a lot of pollen there. Well, seen a few queen cups, but there's no evidence of them wanting to make queen cells. They're all dry. So I'm satisfied we can continue. Let's put our OSBN frame back. It is empty, so we don't need to add a new frame in there. Again, we'll check this other frame foundation. Now this one has been drawn out. And I'll just check that. So that one's just pollen and honey. So we'll move that up the top and put in a new frame of foundation. Because this frame up the top was almost completely nectar, I'm going to move this frame that was on the side down the bottom in between it and the frame of foundation so that it marks the edge of the brood nest because the pollen and the nectar layer is the edge of the brood nest. Right, let's do that now. We have frame and foundation. And again, make sure that the outside of our brood nest has a new frame down the bottom. Alright, smoke them down and we'll uh, put the boxes back on. Try not to squish too many bees. So put our frames together because we're drawing foundation. Get the bees to go down so we can put our hive mat on. That was our second inspection of our foundation only hive using OSBN. Haven't seen the OSBN frame drawn out very much, but they went straight onto the foundation and drew out the foundation. And you can see that they moved the brood nest up into that capped honey. Again, foundation on the side is less likely to be drawn out. It's better to put them second frame in from the edge. So if I'd started earlier, uh, that would have been the case and there would have only been six frames or so of brood and then I can put them on those second frame in from the edge. 
Anyway, bees have drawn out the comb on the foundation, went straight into it and uh, went up into those two honey frames in the top and all is looking good. So next time we come in, we'll put a queen excluder on, and then a honey super above that, and we'll move up four frames from the boxes below.